Hey you guys and welcome back to the adorableness that is skip to loafer. Let us get straight into this with episode 3. Meet me, the mayor of Suzu City. Yeah. I love how she already has the like 20 years of future speech down. Interview down. But a big step. Exactly. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, she's in our class too. Dislike Shana. Books and potato chips. I, I think that's how it began. Aww. I think you would get along with Mitsumi. <laughs> You're really establishing that. Scary. Everyone beneath me. The himbo. <laughs> I think you have the complete misconception of them too. I love her. <laughs> oh, wait, no, sweetie, it's okay. Oh, Yusuke really did just come to cheer on. Yeah, I was just about to say, I love her, Yusuke. And no, Shima was just there to like watch her <laughs> and her shenanigans. Why does Shima look good in a jellyfish as well? Oh. Oh, you have to get elected, don't you? Yeah? Concerning? <gasps> She's so cool. <laughs> Your planner. What is that? To the minute. Yeah, no, the same for me. Thanks. Kurumi <laughs> was. Yeah. Yeah, go for it, it's me. Why? Why do we? Why do we do that? <laughs> Sweetie, what? Damn, what is that? Oh. Just, just give her, give her a little moment. You will up, sir. Limited edition. Baby duck's first swim, yes. <laughs> Baby duck's first. Oh. Yes, yes. Welcome, welcome. She's part of the club now. Yeah, not bad, right? Oh wait, he didn't give up. Right. No, he really doesn't. I thought last week would leave things awkward, but no. Yeah, and I think we also have a lot of common ground. There's just some people you click with, honestly. Oh, <laughs> Mama Duck. Ask Shima to do it. Oh no, perfect. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> That's actually such a me to me. My Starmax debut. Yeah, I think she did. Mm, I was just about to say she looked a lot more like relaxed. Oh, much better. Oh, that's the one Shima took, of course. 
Mitsui just has a way, dreamy and sparkly. I do not expect that. Oh, damn! Um, it's not my personal preference, but go for it. Yay! Oh! This has become a lot more bigger than I think could have been planned, but I think more the merrier, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> Definitely thanks. Golden Retrieval always looking good. <laughs> I actually love the sweater. Just, I think. With the checker pants, with a little bit too much. You look great too. Just don't judge what other people are wearing. Yeah, no, no. She looks like really classy, good. Very trendy, very on point. Even all the colours matching. <laughs> Damn! She's just a natural goddess. <laughs> what was that about looking good, Mika? I know, right? She's just got like white pants and a sweater on. No, Mika, you look good too. It's just. I just wish you would just be happy with yourself. See? I love how she might notice and still give up the compliment yeah she was very aware i guess it would make sense as like a child actor <laughs> i love konami's first as well <laughs> popcorn all the way oh i love caramel popcorn i like half yay yeah. Oh, too much. Maybe we get to start with it. Yay! A high finger. Oh yeah, I guess how does... Oh, I think Kurumi is just shy. Mm. That makes sense. Wait, you don't realize that the whole time? <laughs> Oh, you so. I think they just need to get to know each other. <laughs> See, half and half is the best. This caramel is a little bit strong, so when you have like the salted, it balances it out. So you, you want like another bite of the caramel, and you want the plain one, and then the caramel, and then the plain one. It's like, yeah, sweet and salty. That's why half half popcorn is the best. <laughs> I think they warm up to each other. Oh, she said they that through time. Well done. Well done, Kurumi. I mean, I'm sure that was quite hard to do. Because, yeah, Yusuke is quite, as I literally said last week, I was surprised that she wasn't going to be like the typical, like, steel, um, shimmer kind of girl thing. Nicely done.
Well, I already love the show, so <laughs> it's already worked on me. I seriously love how the show, and I don't know how they do it, but you know, just some shows are able to do that. All we did this episode was go to the movies, like, you know, and also like check out the student council. But through that simple kind of day play out, we developed Kunami. We got introduced to Kunami as a character, as well as developed Kunami as a character through her interaction with a girl, obviously, Mitsumi, as well as Yuzuki. And like, for me, at least, not a single moment was boring and 20 minutes felt like it flew by. I could honestly just live for the slice of life moments. Like, honestly, the series hasn't developed the romance aspect side a lot, but I don't mind that because I'm definitely like in it for the journey as we see this friend group grow, as well as see the relationship grow. Naturally, like, through those interactions you know it wasn't like love at first sight you know and that certainly definitely works for other animes like we're watching this season like Tony Kaku they got married like straight into episode one that works as well but this one you know it's more so about the high school life and as students and them developing and I'm just in for that ride because as I said I think there's just shows that are able to kind of capture that and that's why I think I'm personally really enjoying this one like yeah definitely on the same boat as Mitsumi as team Salted and Caramel and also as I was trying to say during the reaction I do I really like Yuzuki's character as well because she is such a gorgeous character but I like how they didn't make her out as like the typical just a pretty but like a nasty a drama queen and it's not like they don't address that kind of trope because obviously our girl Kurumi has been traumatized by that you know she has been bullied by girls like that so that's why she was a bit skeptical at first of Yuzuki so that's why I do like how this episode was about Kurumi dropping those kind of guards around her as well and that's why she was able to warm up to Yuzuki and at the same time they addressed her breaking out of her shyness and becoming friends with Mitsumi as well. And I do want to touch on Mika's character as well. I know I've probably given her a lot of shit, but it's because I really just want to see her be her and be like happy with herself, which is honestly a very hard thing to do at that age, so I completely understand. But yeah, in that sense, I really can't wait to see how Mika's character will develop because she is complex, like she is honestly going through a complex like moment as a character herself. Like I'm definitely getting the vibe that she's not a simple character and I do see that, but at the same time, I do enjoy her being completely wrecked every now and then, I'm not gonna lie. But I do understand her character and, and, and I think because of that, I more so do want to see her like come out of I guess the shell and wall that she's built around herself that is really fragile and that's ever so more why she builds up those shells but yeah anyways with all that said though definitely can't wait till another episode so until then make sure you guys say awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next week